Hello and welcome, my big booty balloon maniacs. It's SJB here, and today we've got Corvus, the new hero in Bloons Tower Defense 6. And what I want to do is I just wanted to go over Corvus and all of his delicious and mighty glory here. Talk about his ridiculousness. I've done one quick test uh, with Corvus here to kind of like show off his awesomeness, but I am not a professional. I am not an expert in Corvus. But we're going to learn everything that Corvus has to deal with today, right now. So, before I uh, mention anything, I'm already on level 3, so we're gonna go over level 1 and 2. Haunted balloons are weakened and explode when popped, adding mom to the mana pool. The spirit attacks balloons anywhere on the map in Corvus's command. We learn spear, nourishment, and repel, so we start off with three abilities right from the get-go. Spirit grows in size and can hit more balloons. Cool, and soul harvest ability, harvest nearby balloons in an instant, learns echo and haste. So we should have five total spells that we can already uh, put down here, which we do have. But we have to talk about why there's even spells in the first place and talk about us. First of all, regular attack. So this is our spirit. Some might call it a wisp, but we're gonna call it our spirit. And the spirit wanders anywhere on the map. All right, he's got infinite range. Even though this range right here is technically a range, he's got infinite range to go anywhere on the map. You might see that a little later on when the, when the, the guy starts to like wander all over the place. Um, in addition to that, though, uh, he does have the ability to target. So you can put him on first, cl strong, close, or last, though I would recommend close. And this is the reason why. Corvus is all about mana. All right, so this is the mana pool. And the mana pool is what we use to use the spells. So you can see the mana cost of these different spells here. And uh, the way Corvus is going to earn this mana is by popping balloons inside of his range, very similar to a Prince of Darkness, or what is, what's the fourth here called? The uh, Necromancer, the unpopped army. So even if we pop things outside of our range, it's not a big deal. It just means we don't get the direct mana added to our mana pool. So what I want to do is I actually want to go through all different spells. Um, and we're going to cast all the spells, uh, talk about how they work, and hopefully have some fun in the process and try to get as far as we possibly can with Corvus as a solo hero. We're also going to buff him. So I, I'm not like right now ready to throw down an elk and like get all that stuff going. But later on, if we ever run into any issues, boop, let's throw in an elk, let's throw in a village, let's throw in whatever we need to try to get further with Corvus. So uh, uh, again, this is my first time trying though. So if we need to go back and try again to get a little further, that's something for a later date. First of all, Spear. It costs 100 mana to cast this. But one thing I want you guys to notice is that it is not casted. It is used up, and you can dismiss it whenever you feel like it to make that stop happening. So this entire layer right here, these four spells that we're going to eventually earn, are all uh, mana users. They're going to consistently, constantly use mana until your mana is gone. Where the rest of these are basically castables. You just cast them, and then they are... are, are used or made or whatever i think i'll have to again double check that for everybody but um that's kind of how i i think it works so repel the spirit gains a force field that pushes balloons back whenever they are touched so let's cast this puppy so we cast it so we get this cooldown here this is how long it's gonna last now the spirit is sending balloons backwards um repelling them um it doesn't really matter right now it's not like we're ready to lose in around 10 but it is just something to note uh, we've got a $300 mono spell. The Echo, the spirit splits itself in two. Uh, let's wait till around 15 to cast this one, because this is a 300 expense uh, uh, ability here. Instead, we're going to go for haste. Spirit movement and turning speed are greatly increased. So we should just miss lust? less. Let's cast it. Uh, all right. I mean, it looks like he's better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You could definitely see the increased movement speed and everything. And not just because I'm sped up. <laughs> You actually saw it, but it didn't. I don't know if it really lasted that long. She, I, I, I'd like it to last longer. She'd like it to last longer. Everybody'd like it to last longer, man. That's just, that's not good. Phil ran out of juice a little too early there. If you want to hook up Chris with a special dose of deliciousness, make sure you're using his creator support code. It's SJB. Thank you guys so much. All right, uh, we got round 15 coming up in here, so let's just check it out. One of the more expensive of our abilities here, the Echo. So we get double the popping power? Splits itself in two. Command sent to one are sent to both. Okay. Oh, so if we combine this with other spells, that would be really, really cool. Uh, to double all, all of our other spells. Mm, that's intriguing. I really want to think about that for later on. Um, it, it may not work that way, but I, I, I believe it should based on the wording uh, that we see right here. So uh, these are all cool. I like all of these so far. Uh, the Trample. The Stampede of Spirits moves down the track, crushing balloons they pass. So let's just Stampede, even though we really don't need need it right now. Um, we are getting kind of high on our mana here, but I want to talk about this ability, because this seems to like just keep going up, right? 
It's an important one, though. We actually do want to use this, and I feel like I'm actually kind of wasting things right now, but it should be beneficial in the long run to do it this way. Show it all off before we uh, uh, jump into weirdness. So, uh, let's try freezing first. Let's frostbound. The spirit freezes balloons that it hits for a short time. So we're going to go, whoa. All right, so this could be positive, could be negative, depending on where you're at. And if you've got a lot of regular pierce attacks, like dart monkeys and stuff, this actually could be a terrible thing for you. I mean, of course, we're soloing right now, so it doesn't really matter, but it didn't last that long either. I mean, it lasts a pretty reasonable amount of time, but for 170 mana, ugh. All right, you know this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're, we're gonna cast this nourishment. Sacrifices all mana and converts it into hero experience. I should have looked at our hero experience. Dang, I forgot. I'll have to look for next time. But I don't think it was that much. I think it was like a reasonable amount, but nothing crazy here. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! We gotta talk about this other spell here, the camo balloon spell. Can we get it? 170. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to tank today. Wait, wait, wait. No, we're gonna have to tank it. We, ton we tunked it. We tunked it, boys. We tunked it real good. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. Oh, crap. Purple balloons. Um, yes. So we're going to use our ability here, which I have not used yet today. And I think I'm just going to tank the rest. I mean, uh, what happens is when they get haunted, they do end up getting popped, but not every balloon gets haunted. So that is kind of unfortunate there. Um... We've got more abilities just flopping out into existence right now. So this is kind of ridiculous. All right, we're going to have to switch them to first. Uh, and hopefully keep popping balloons. Because close, it was working for a while, but it doesn't look like it's working forever. Um, and uh, we're going to need to use another spell here for round 28. So here's a couple new spells. Aggression. The spirit grows in size and attacks faster. Again, don't forget that these, even though they're seemingly kind of cheap, 100, only 80 or whatever, they are going to use things up over time. So, uh, especially if you combine multiple of, of them together, you're going to run out of mana very, very quickly. These guys are kind of cool because you cast them once and they last a long time. And so far, honestly, I really, really like the Ember spell. It's one of my favorite spells. It seems like it does. It lasts a pretty reasonable amount of time. Um, probably not much longer than the other ones, to be honest, but lasts a reasonable amount of time, and it does a lot of damage, and it can pop lead balloons, which is pretty cool. The only problem is this! I just used my cooldown! Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get our... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'll get it up. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna use our spirit walk. This is the, uh, the another new ability here. We're going to use our ability here, which does pop lead balloons. We're not gonna get them all. We're gonna get a lot of them, though, and then hopefully... We can... Yeah, I don't know what else. If anything else pops leads. Uh, let's let's just cast this and see what happens. Will it pop leads? Oh, it does! Woo! All right, perfect. And that lasts a pretty long time, too. It popped all the balloons, too. I mean, those were only zebras and below. Zebras and leads. But hey, for 180 bucks, that's pretty solid. Uh, especially on the longer maps. And I wonder if there's two, three, or even four different exits or entrances, how that would end up working. That could end up being uh, sexy as crap, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, let's speed this up. We need to get our cam detection soon um, for round 33, which I don't think I used before. And uh oh, purples again. All right. All right, so this is a problem. There is another ability that we can use here to save the day if I need it. The soul barrier. Luckily, I don't need it right now. But here we go. Let's cast this. Let's cast the vision. Let's get the rest of our nourishment over here. And I'm going to move them back to close for now, so I can try to get as, meant, as much popping power as I can in the middle here. Oh, we ran out of freaking... What? We ran out of that? Wait, 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 wait. Spell? Oh, I don't have... Oh, I don't have any mana. Oh, no. <laughs> we had to tank the lives. Luckily, they are still just shield lives, so it's not that big of a deal. And Corvus lives on for now. But I feel like I am starting to struggle a little bit. And I don't really know what I should do about that. Uh, let's try Elking. So, so far, we're we're popping yellows down into reds. Let's see if Berserk Brew does anything. Uh, it's very difficult to tell, but I, uh, we're turning whites down into greens. Uh, that's still only three layers, I believe. Rainbows down, oh, blue, rainbows down into blues. Pinks down into reds. We are doing more layers. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah! Alright. So that does seem like alchemy 
does affect Corvus. Uh, I believe. Pretty sure. It's very difficult to tell. I mean, the alchemy is lasting a very long time. It lasts the entire time that Corvus is alive. Oh, Campbell Camp Blutes. Screw it, screw it. Let's let's cast the Soul Barrier instead. So, uh, Soul Barrier is going to last the length of this ability. And what you can do is you can just tank the balloons by using up your mana. Honestly, freaking sweet. Freaking sweet, dude. I, I really enjoyed that. All right, Corvus. We're going to use another uh, mono thing. This time we're going to we're gonna look at our level here. So we're almost to level 8. We're going to use the full 800. Let's go check it out. Oh, it did nothing. It did freaking nothing. So in the early game, that might help you out a lot. In this, I mean, this was like the smallest sliver of our level 7 ability. So it is not like we're just going to be magically leveling up like, like a Dora or something like that. All right, we need to um, get the camp detection again. So let's cast. Good enough for me. And we move on in the world. All right, we're going to need some more lead pop powers. We're going to cast this fire again. This is, again, one of my favorite uh, abilities to use. I feel like it just lasts a long time, and it does exactly what I want it to do, you know? Um, it's not super OP or anything like that, but for the minor amount of 150 bucks, can, can you beat it? I, I don't know. But now we got a Moab coming up, and I am a little concerned about the Moab as well. Um, I don't think I want to go for the full Ancestral Mine or anything. Let's just use our first ability here. See if we can clean up everything else with uh, uh, leaving on first. And we do. All right, Corvus, baby. All right, let's use the... Uh, let's try this Malevolence. So I don't think we use this yet. Um, I don't think I want that. Let's try this Aggression. We want it to be stronger, more powerful. We're going to double cast this in addition. And we're going to use that ability, and we slice through those ceramics, and we get right on through here, and we're going to go into free play. All right, so we made it past round 40 with Corvus soloing-ish. <laughs> Ish. I know the Alchemist is popping things. I just want to throw it out there. Oh, crap. I forgot to turn off my uh, spell book, but this is kind of cool. Never-ending aura of deliciousness here. Honestly, that's pretty cool. Let's dismiss it, though, and let's just get our nourishment going. Our lame old nourishment. Uh... I do want to level up a little more over here, and I can buy levels as, as well, but before I do that, I think it's about that time to save up for our delicious new overclocking engineer and see if that does anything for Corvus. All right, so we need more cam detection. Let's make sure we're uh, activating this puppy. Boom, cast. So one thing we're noticing about Corvus is the intense amount of... Whoa, 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 camos. The intense amount of... Um, micro required to do anything with Corvus. I mean, I am really pressing buttons here and stuff, and uh, I'm constantly thinking about what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it to make sure that this is going to go down properly, and it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Just to be honest, it is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I'm af I am very afraid that any at any point, random blooms can sneak through or whatnot, but so far it's been going pretty good. I'm not super upset at the very least. All right, we got a, an engineer just about ready to go. A couple hundred bucks here. Boom, overclock's ready to go. Let's just use the random spear upgrade. Holy crap, is that powerful. Whoa. All right, hold on. We got to turn that off real quick. Let's dismiss that. And we're going to have to tank these lives or mana tank. Let's mana tank these lives. Oh, baby, when you time it right. I mean, imagine doing that on chimps mode, dude. You could just tank Boabs on chimps mode now. Or tank whatever you want. On, on chimps mode. It's going to be absurd. It's going to be absurd. All right. I think we got to try overclocking uh, Corvus. Pay attention. To, I'm not going to speed this up. Pay attention to the uh, the spirit's speed. See if it does anything faster, stronger, better. I don't know. I'm not really seeing any, any changes, if you ask me. Uh, it could affect our casting abilities, though. Does it make our casting better? Stronger? It kind of looks like it. I mean, why is he moving so quick right now? Is that just the uh, the ember in place? The fire? All right, so we need to get camera detection again. Let's cast that. And realistically, what you should probably do is just leave one of these on, like, all the time. Just nonstop. Just leave it on. You're going to get so much mana from popping all these blooms in range that... Uh, you could probably just leave it on forever. If you want to be more advanced, you can probably mess around with it a little bit. All right. Uh... Uh, let's tank it. Let's tank it. Don't have the Campo thing. I don't have anything. Probably gonna have to give him village soon. All right, 48. More Camo purples. All right, let's undo this. 
So we can tank this. Kablamo. Let's tank it again. I don't even want to give him the camera detection, but I don't know if this could, all this is not going to last long enough. Oh, crap. What do we do? Ugh. I guess we just let him go through. That's so sad. All right. I don't know if there was something that I should have done there, but I didn't do it. Whatever it, whatever I was supposed to do, I did not do. All right, this is 120 uh, energy blades. I don't know. That does not look as good as it should for 120 mana per second or whatever it is. 120. I don't even know what that is. Plus, we're not popping things in our range anymore. Dang, it does go up real quick here when you're when you're right next to it, though. Yeah, I really like this one a lot better for half the price. I mean, look at that difference. That just seems so much more powerful. It's like a super energized sub. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, almost. And the nice thing about this one is that it just it's gonna hurt things inside of your range. Oh crap. Okay, let's also cast the ancestral might and see if we can take. Oh my God, we just smacked the mob into smithereens. Oh, I really like that. Uh, but the cooldowns are not good. All right, we got Moab's coming up the Wazizzle right now. Let's cast the Ember, see if that's going to do anything here. I still don't know if this is doing anything, but I'm doing it anyways. And, oh gosh, Camo Bloons cast. Uh, let's cast this as well. Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, not that big of a deal. We're just going to cast this. We're going to cast this a little earlier. This actually might not be the best thing for ceramics but it still seems good enough for ceramics let me tell you oh my god it's beautiful so you cannot cast both of these at the same time but you can cast other things at the same time there's weird call oh, camo balloons all right all right so we cannot rely on that anymore uh oh no oh no i'm sure there are ways to actually get through uh these camo balloons i think that i gotta try the trample this time around you know what? i'm gonna use this a lot earlier i'm gonna try to trample first and see if this is enough to take down ceramics. Oh, it doesn't hit camos. <laughs> Never mind. So we're going to give him camo detection finally. We're going to give him the village. I'm going to give him the jungle drums as well. Still have no idea whether or not these are doing anything. I thought the alchemist was doing something. And now I'm like, I'm not even sure. Oh, to be honest, I don't think so. I don't think he... Oh my god, we're about to lose again. Corvus. Spells. Cast. Uh, one thing I, I do regret a little bit is my lack of... Uh, ooh, you can see his range got increased pretty far though. The alchemy is giving him the extra range, which is fairly important for us. And the village is doubling that, or not doubling, but increasing that range even further. Okay. Uh, Overclock does not seem to be doing anything of impressive value, but just something to be noted. So spear against Moabs. Meh. It's okay. It's not great. It's again, very difficult to tell exactly what we're getting pops with. Uh, but I can leave on multiple spells at the same time and still continuously get extra, uh, a pop power, which is kind of, kind of crazy. All right. Definitely a big weakness for us, though, has been the Moabs. I cannot find anything that's just really good against Moabs besides this thing. And, uh, it is very, very powerful, but it does not last a long time. Again, and then there's a pretty long cooldown here, so. All right. And it's super expensive, so it makes us run out of, of juice over here. Okay, maybe I do need this for Moabs. Energy Blades. So why is it stuck on Corvus right now? Is that what I want? So wait, it's just around Corvus? Oh, it is. The Energy Blades are just around Corvus. Okay. Um, fine, I suppose. Uh, I guess if you just really want it just to pop Moebs, I mean, that's the way to do it, right? And you can spirit walk yourself closer or further away from the... Oh, no. We're out of range of the, of the village. Not anymore. Not anymore. All right, Corvus is going strong, man. I think we're going to be good for a while as long as I... Ooh, don't run out of mana. I just ran out of mana. Oh, no. All right, so if we overdo it, if we overjuice ourselves, we can run into some major issues real freaking quick. Let me tell you. You got to watch it. You got to keep things in range. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. So what happens is we lose. Oh, I see. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. That's why that's happening. When we just have one of these guys activated, it's actually the spirit that is doing the damage here. And that's why when you combine those two together, they don't really work that well. 
Um, and actually, it's not even not working well, just complicated workings. Inner workings of weirdness. But the only good Moa Popper for us is definitely this 120 cost. It's decent against Blooms as well, and if you can afford it, it's probably good to just keep it, uh, keep it activated. We've got one more ability to talk about today. And... I don't even know when we earn it. I mean, we are currently level 10. Oh, we got a new ability! All right, let's read about this new ability. Dark Ritual ability. Harvest a huge number of blooms near Corvus. Trample does more damage to more blooms. And we learn recovery. <gasps> All right. What was recovery? Oh, here we go. Recovery. All spells are stopped. All attacks are paused. Corvus and the spirit go into a deep meditation to replenish spells at a rapid rate. Oh, that's intriguing. I don't know if that would be all that helpful for us. In fact, it might actually be very, very detrimental while soloing. Just want to throw it out there real quick. See what happens. Let's cast on round 60 and just see what happens. Let's cast this puppy. Uh, So we get no attacks for the entire time of this meditation. Um, What? All It says all attacks are paused, but... I guess are these considered all of our attacks? Because uh, this spirit was still wandering around doing things. All right, let's activate this again. Let's overclock and uh, use our new uh, level 10 ability, Kablamo. Oh, that did not do very much. Not today, at least. All right, let's activate. Yeah, looks like we're good. <laughs> it's just so complicated, man. So complicated. Spirit grows in size and attacks faster. So we can combine these two abilities. Ooh. I don't mind that one bit. We can combine three abilities! Keep them all next to ourselves. Are we running out of uh, mana here? Kind of, a little bit. Uh, Moab Poppin' Power is definitely a bit of a weakness here. Let's get rid of this guy so we can go on, jump on the Moabs. And here we go, round 62. Oh boy, alright. So purples seem to be a major problem for us. We're gonna, we're gonna reactivate this again. Oh, that doesn't pop purples either. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, so our, our things are getting more powerful, but we are still struggle lugging. I'm going to try. I don't know what to try. Let's try... Let's try... Uh, let's try the Stampede, maybe, to pop the purples. Okay, the Stampede does pop the purples pretty well. That's good news. Well, the Stampede went backwards, too. All right, wow, we seem very powerful right now. I'm, I'm pretty happy. Heck yeah, I'm pretty happy. Oh, no, purple pop power again. Dang, alright, let's cast this. Does it pop purples? Lightning does not pop purples! What pops purples, bro? That doesn't pop purples. Nothing pops purples. So this is probably micro audible, but honestly, at this point, I'm just going to MIB. I feel like it's just not worth it to fight against these purples so, so much when we know that it is his weakness. Uh, overall, purple popping power is, is just rough. Just just straight up. Alright, so we get, still get a pretty good amount of uh, stuff here, but the mana is slowly dwindling, believe it or not, with this ability. Uh, yes. I feel like I shouldn't be dwindling here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Blow that purple and delicious load all over him. What is he on? What is what is he on? All right. I'm still struggle lugging. We're going to move him to first for sure. We're going to start off with the spell, uh, the storm activated. And we're going to see if we can survive with the storm activated for a bit longer this time around with him on first instead of on close. And I don't, again, don't know, really know if these matter at all, but I'm going to use them. And I'm going to slice through these last bit of blooms right shnyaw. And we got camos up the wazoo as well. I think I'm going to have to use this puppy. But I want to save it for 63, because it's probably a pretty tough round. Ugh. Can we survive? Come on, take it down. I've got very little uh, stuff left, but we do manage to take it down. Now we're on round 63, though. All right, we're definitely going to use the ember. See if we can burn through some of these blooms. We're probably gonna have to freeze as well. Let's see. I'm almost out of mana already. Oh boy. All right, let's dismiss this one and we're gonna swap to a malevolence and see if the nuclear sub strategy is gonna work. Oh my god, yes it is. Uh, not actually not that much better. We pop through the ceramic layers really, really easily, and then the rest of the blooms they do get destroyed. I'll take it. Definitely not not bad to say the least. All right, round sixty-three. Usually a pretty big problem. Not a problem today. Okay. Let's cast this lightning ability and see if this is going to work out well. Honestly, this is not bad against Moabs. I'm just going to throw it out there. 
Uh, we are running out of our uh, mana pretty quickly, but it was not bad against Moebs. That was a lot of popping power right there. I really like this combo. If you can get this combo going, you're probably a happy man. Or woman. Or whatever. All right, we're going to try to... Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't know what I'm going to try anymore. I was going to plan on trying to uh, uh, get the hand going, but I'm not sure we can make that happen. So here we go. Let's let's just see what happens. Let's try to slice through some of these blooms, and then maybe we'll get the hand going. Slice. Hand. Cast. Yes, hand smash. Woo! That is very good, by the way. It's a very powerful ability. Again, the only limitation to that is it is very expensive as far as your model is concerned, and it's got a pretty long cooldown. So you can only use it in uh, somewhat of emergency situations. Back to this ability with his ability combo, and see if that's going to take down all these mobs for a while. And I believe as long as we are pretty consistent here... Dang, I don't really know what the deal is with that fire. I have no idea what it does. I need to read up on it. Here we go, level 10. Dark Ritual Ability. Harvest a huge number of balloons near Corvus. Trample does more damage to balloons. Okay. It didn't feel like it harvested that many balloons near Corvus. But maybe it has to be really near Corvus. Like, actually in our range here. It is not a global ability, even though it kind of looks like it is. Alright, we're running out of mana. We're running out of mana. The mana's running out. Alright, we gotta dismiss this puppy and just keep the lightning going. See if that is enough here. Oh no, even the lightning's running out now too. The mana. Uh, too little mana. I need to harvest. Harvest the balloons, please. Oh no. Uh, dismiss, dismiss. And oh boy. We're already struggling against BFBs. Okay. I can't even cast this if I don't have 120. Let's, let's cast haste, just cuz. Hold on, hold on. Move down here. Keep in range of everything. We're going to have to uh, harvest. Woo! All right, so it definitely does have to be in range. Noted. And I don't know why, but it seems like we're getting we we're getting less, mo less mana around right now for some reason. And I'm not really entirely sure why. Now it seems to be fine. Right, Ancestral Might, unite! Let's just smack some Moabs, bro. <laughs> I love it. And uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's got unlimited range as well. Though I cannot confirm that. You know what? I'm still not very happy. I feel like everything I'm doing is just like I have to be so active with him. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, like I literally have to be pressing buttons and thinking about things and and using my mana and using my abilities. And it's it's very difficult. It's very tricky. And I completely understand why Ninja Kiwi made him. Uh, oh no. Oh no. There it goes. But hold on, hold on. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Yes. Get it up cast you can see the uh the interesting action over here the combos and everything and we are gonna beat round 72 but at what cost at what cost so we have some money so we're currently level 12 by the way at round 74 uh we did use a little bit of our spell action to go up levels but honestly not much um it was only like uh, at the very beginning and that's kind of it um at this point we probably could be doing more of that to be completely honest but it's just not worth it at this point in the game, especially when soloing with him. So uh, we do have the ability to go up to level 13, though. So Ancestral Might, this was the big hand thing. This, is, this was pretty cool. I really like the Ancestral Might. And the Ancestral Might is going to get more powerful now at level 13. It and we learn Overload, the last ability. The last spell. Ooh, the most expensive spell. 520 bucks. The spirit detonates with an overwhelming energy. A moment later, the spirit rebuilds from the wispy remnants. Mm. Mm. All right. I feel like I want to try this on 75 or 76, as we're going to have some uh, tough times ahead of us, of course. I'm still uh, using abilities, even though I'm not really sure if they're doing anything. Just pressing buttons at this point. All right, this is a tough round. This is a very, very tough round. One of the toughest rounds in the game for the, the time that it comes out. Round 75. Uh, arguably harder than 76, 77, 78, and 79. 75 is difficult. Uh, and we're going to use our uh, overload. Let's go Blamo. Uh, bl Blamo. Kabl Kablamo. Uh, I, I didn't really like that very much. Overwhelming energy? I didn't feel it. I didn't feel the overwhelming aspect of it. All right, let's cast this puppy. Let's get the storm going. We're going to also cast the ember. Kind of combine together because this is a lot, a lot of balloons. We're also going to have to use this to try to clean up some of these guys. And oh crap. We're going to have to use, uh, uh, 
Let's wait this out for a quick second here. Yeah, I need to pop these BFBs. I'm going to use the Ancestral Might. Yeah, let's use the Ancestral Might. It'll hopefully work our way into round 76 here as well. All right, we're still popping the balloons. Pop around 76. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. All right, we get through 75 and 76 with the Ancestral Might again. With a little bit of an underwhelming overload. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use that in a very specific way. Like, maybe I could try it on round 78 here to see if I could do any better. But, dang. That felt a little underwhelming. Oh, crap. I ran out of mana. I ran out of mana. Let's slice. Oh, I got all my mana back. Storm. Malevolence combo. Uh, Yeah, let's just do it. Storm Malevolence combo. I'm going to try to move ourselves into position to explode them all. That is my plan. Explode them all. Maybe. Maybe. No, it didn't work. All right, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I would really like to somehow cast this hand again. Ancestral Might, if I can get... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. I don't have enough mana. Burn things. Crispy things. Ancestral Might, go, 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 go. Hand smack. Hand smack. No, it's smacking the wrong crap. Smack, smack, smack. Oh, no. They still sneak through. Ooh, we can level up. Spirit does more damage to balloons. Malevolence does more damage and extra damage to ceramic balloons. Now, that's good because we like Malevolence. It's one of my... Oh, wait, no. Malevolence. Malevolence. I actually do really like Malevolence. I really, really like Malevolence. Uh, is this strong enough to take down Moebs? It's way, way cheaper than the other upgrade. If we can just uh, uh, nuclear sub our way through these uh, Moebs here, that is delicious. Um, not quite is the issue. Not, not, not super quite. Um, it's like, it's not bad, but it's just, it's not great. Let's try casting Spear in addition, because that's only 160 use, but this is 120. Uh, we're definitely running out of mana, though. All right, let's try to Spear some mana back into existence here, maybe. If I could pop anything, oh, I'm running out of mana hardcore. Let's see if we could Spear some crap, maybe, soon. A little bit. Wait, oh, it's all getting popped. Okay, we're gonna have to Spear, and then reactivate. Hold on. Cast. Hold on. Spear. Flame. And it's tight, but it looks like we do manage to pop them. Um, a little a little scary, though. All right, you know what? It is round 78. We got a big chunk of ceramics. Let's cast this and see what happens. Again, just a smidge underwhelming. A smidge. Doesn't, doesn't feel as good as it probably should feel. I mean, compared to, like, Malevolence, which has been delicious... Let's spirit walk our way back into malevolence, uh, m middle malevolence area. And, uh, keep on, uh, gating the stuff. Again, this is definitely my favorite ability so far. Hopefully you guys are feeling the same way. I have not even tested these guys out as much as I probably should have. Um, like repel and stuff like that. Oh, why can't we use it? Oh, it's because all these guys are on cooldown. Oh, it doesn't matter. Ceramics get owned. Oh my god, owned. Um, BFPs, at the other hand, are a bit more difficult. So you definitely have to swap to this, but I'm definitely swapping between the top two. That's like the main two things that I've been using. Uh, all right, let's dismiss this one and activate Malevolence again. And I'm gonna have to figure out how we're gonna pop these BFBs. Cause I am, I am currently losing mana even while popping all of these rainbows, which is kind of sad. I feel like I should be getting more pops out of it. All right, so we're probably gonna have to disable this pretty soon. You know, what, let's try the lightning. Let's cast the lightning combo. And let's try to just gain a lot of this back by uh, using our abilities. Let's see if it's going to work. Let's ability that. We do get a full 800 here. And you know what? Instead of doing anything crazy, we're going to use our Ancestral Might. And let's see if that combo is enough to get through all this stuff. Burn through them. Near the back. Yes! And we get through it. Now we're on round 80. And we are going to have to do something here. Okay, let's just see if this is what we need to use it on. Oh, yeah. By the way, these are my new Oh, my God skins. kind of like them. Overload. Let's see if we can just kill his. Oh my god. No, we can't. Still a smidge underwhelming. I mean, maybe it's used for an, a BFB or something. But when I can't use any of my other abilities here and I'm running out of mana and everything, I just I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about this right now. Uh, you know, we have some money here. We're gonna we're gonna level them up. We're gonna level them up. Let's level them up to embers, fire drops more often, and does more damage. Nourishment gives more XP. Mm. It's actually pretty cool. Kinda late though. All right, we're going to have to use this. I'm going to have to try to use my ember or something to blow this up. I'm out of bottom. I'm out of, out of everything. All right, let's burn. Let's cast. Combo cast. And uncombo cast that back to jumping. 
and we do survive. We're in past round 80. Holy crap! So, don't get me wrong, there are more uh, maps that are probably more suitable to uh, get late game with Corvus. But I am not upset with making it past round 80 as a solo hero. But I will say, the amount of work that is required is definitely way, 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 way more complicated than any other hero that I've ever played with, ever. But a little bit more fun to mess around with and play around with them. Alright, we just got an uh, upgrade to Ember. Let's try our upgrade to Ember. Dropping lots of fireballs. Uh, that's definitely an upgrade I would consider using a lot. Uh, we're just going to cast some more abilities over here. Uh, this one costs 300. Barber here, why not? Let's use it. When you get a big chunk of ceramics, you just press buttons. And, uh, unfortunately, I think this, this might start to be, uh, near the end for us. I'm not sure. Oh, dang. That was good. Oh, that was really good. Dude, I, I honestly believe that this is probably our go-to save the day ability. If we can ever get this ability every single round, or every other round, it's gonna, it's gonna win for us. Just like a guarantee. All right, let's try trampling BFBs. Let's just see if this does anything. Uh, we are currently out of pretty much everything right now. I don't see this going well for us. Like, at all. Alright, let's try that Ember again. Uh, we're trying to burn through the balloons. It's kind of happening, but again, not super duper well. Uh, we're gonna have to turn everything on again. Let's cast this. Let's cast that. See if this is gonna be enough for us. Uh, we're going to have to, uh, again, use our abilities here to try to earn our uh, stuff back so we can hopefully use some more of these uh, stronger abilities. Let's freeze the blue and just keep them on the screen, man. Did I even use it? Did I even cast it? I didn't even cast it. <laughs> All right, Ancestral Bite, $440. Let's undo this. Let's undo this. Let's get ready to cast this. Cast. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. Okay, Corpus has increased range for the next level. The spirit does more damage to balloons. I will accept that. I accept that very much so. What does Corvus do next? Let's check it out. Haunted balloons are now weaker and explosions do more damage. Soul Barrier can now block more balloons from leaking. Okay. I mean, all that sounds good, but none of this is great. Just to be honest with y'all. None of this is great. We are, like, barely hanging on right now. Uh, every round is, like, ready to kill us. And uh, I have to really use my mana properly and micro through this to, like, make it reasonable to survive. I just don't know how much longer that's going to last. All right, we still have 500 mana. Uh, actually, this is seemingly a pretty good combo for us, for whatever reason. I guess that one level, that one level did a lot. Oh, yeah, one level. Level freaking, what was that? 16. Woo! More damage to balloons. That means everything he's doing here is just going to get more powerful. And I am, I, you know what? Let's try to uncast this, and let's just cast this. Let's see how we're going to do against Moabs. Maybe we're just going to kill Moabs with our more damage to balloons aspect. Yes, we are. Wait, no. No, we're not. Are we? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh, good enough. Good enough for me. And, oh, I did leave this open, but I didn't even mean to. Okay. I'm still not, again, not upset. Um, kind of weird, but acceptable amounts of uh, pop and power. All right, let's do this, though. Let's cast the spear this time around. In addition, again, only a smidge more mana than casting Storm by itself. And we can just earn some of our mana back with that ability. And our range being huge mungus kind of helps us out quite a bit at this point. Quite a bit. And this combo is straight up delicious. I mean, we're owning. Owning. Around 84 right now. Almost no issues. Oh, <laughs> that was good. All right. The unfortunate thing is... Turning them on and off every single round if we have to. That's not fun. It's just not fun. Alright, this is what we're going to try to do. Instead of doing all these different abilities, we're just going to try one Ancestral Might and see if this can take down Zoma Gods. Check it out. I'll try overclocking. Oh, yes it can! Yes it can! So 85, 87, even like rounds like 98. I think the Ancestral Might is going to be unbelievably helpful for us. It's kind of exciting. All right, we're going to get back in action with this. We're going to cast the Storm. Uh, we're going to take this a little bit slower this time around. You know, I got a decent amount of mana here. Let's do this, and then let's try to... Uh, let's try to just slice the balloons back into existence. Boom, slice our mana back. Back to full mana, and we should be good for around 86. And we're going to Ancestral Might through 87. That's the plan. Should work. Let's uh, 
dismiss and dismiss. Boom. Let it get on top of us. You don't have to use the mana, it, again, but it's active. You have to be ready for this to make it all go down proper. All right, Ancestral Might. Let's go for 87. Kablamo with the Overclock. And we smack those things into Oblivion. Now, Ceramics are actually a little bit further than I'd like them to be. But but for the amount of Zoma God popping power we get, it's kind of absurd. All right, let's double cast this combo. This is working pretty well. Uh, we still got a lot of mana. Oh, we're down to 18 lives, though. Okay, and there's Zoma Gods now. Um, what happens if I cast this this time? Dang, this thing sucks. I don't know what the deal with this is, but this needs to get better. Why is Overload so bad compared to everything else? I don't get it. Okay, we're out of money. We might we might be screwed. We're out of mana. We might be screwed. Let's just see if maybe we can get lucky here. Let's try to slice through these things, turn this back on, and we're going to activate some of these guys and just see if we can maybe make it through. Uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. It's not good enough. So luckily, we can afford another level here, so we don't even need to worry about anything. Storm's Energy Blades hit more bloons and do more damage. Spear does more damage. <laughs> Storm and Spear. So the first and the fourth one on the top here are kind of insane. So we're going to cast the... Uh, let's cast them as a combo. Let's just see what happens. If they both do more damage now, we can keep them on pretty active here. How are they going to do against Zoma Gods, though? I don't know. I'm still, like... I'm a little cons I'm a little confused about how to deal with Zoma God just in general. You know, um, they're they're tricky. Uh, it seems like Ancestral Might is definitely the main way to go. Okay, we're gonna have to do that and this, and then turn on this and this. All right, let's unturn those on. Oh no, it feels so weird for it to be on the right side now. I don't like that at all. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, I got an idea for us. We're gonna do that storm combo again. This is 220 mana being used consistently, though. So it is a lot of mana, but we're actually gaining mana with the amount of pops we're getting out of it. Um, I don't know how they ended up making mana exactly work in this game, but it's definitely intriguing. Um, it doesn't seem like you get crap tons of mana for creating an overwhelm here, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, screw it, I'm not gonna try to pop the Soma Gods. I think. Can I switch him to last? I did. I switched him to last. And I'm going to try to just save up for the Ancestral uh, Might again and just use that against all my gods. That seems to be the best way to take down all my gods. Or we could try to use this ability again, but wait until the all my gods are a bit weaker. And I don't know if that's going to work. But here we go. Ancestral Might. Let's wait for the wrap around just one more second. Again, it's only 440. It's not that big of a deal. And uh, we earn a lot of it back here. Oh, crap. I didn't really mean to do that. But that's okay. We still got a bunch of range here. Let's uh, activate this and this again. And I need to get back over to the pops, though. Otherwise, my mono's going to run out real quick. Uh, definitely running out real quick here. We're going to slice through the... Oh, no! No! Game over! And there it is. Official first loss of the day. And this is a real game, not on the challenge editor. So we're going to have to use Monkey Buddy to get this back. Okay. Okay. That should not be the end of the world. But that is our first official loss. See if this is gonna change. Uh, let's. Oh wow, reinforced ceramics here are definitely tricky. Um, we're still surviving. I'm gonna I'm gonna just spear through some of these guys to make sure that I increase my uh, mana pool, and then we are up to DDT territory. All right, let's see how this is gonna work. Will we be able to pop DDTs with our current technology, our current corvusness? Um, yes. At least a few. Okay. Into the 90s. Honestly, this is pretty impressive. We could probably dive even further here. But at this point, if I start losing, like, where I can't do anything, I'm, I'm done. Before we get there, we do have to note that we have more levels. Corvus can haunt Moab class balloons. Trample does more damage to balloons. Dang, I have not been using trample enough, I think. There's just so many ways to combine these things. I, I'm having trouble, to be completely honest. Trample's pretty good. I have... Uh... I'm not going to say that I haven't liked this one, but I, I, I don't really find it as as effective. So, 
Trample is nice when the balloons are near the back, man. I gotta admit, that is nice. And that is a long time for that ability to be activated. All the way through the very back. That's pretty sweet. Um, I have not been using my Ember enough. Uh, I ran out of mana. I ran out of mana. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. So at this point, game's not easy. No matter what you're doing, I mean, if you're, even if you're, like, good at microwing, this is not going to be easy to pull off. So we're going we're gonna to cast this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this off for a second, and we're going to see if this Ember combo can be enough. We're going to turn that back on and recast that and cast that in action. And it looks like I'm going to try the hand, I guess. The hand here for 92. Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited. It's going to run out. Oh, no. But I honestly believe if I tried microing this for a long period of time, I think I could get through this. But at this point, I am not ready to push myself for an hour just to beat randomly round 92. It just doesn't seem worth it. So, uh, I'm going to give it one more try. This is my last try. If I fail, I fail. Uh, right now, I've got three spells running right now because I've got all this mana just flowing into my pockets. Uh, I'm going to use it to slice through some more balloons to get some more mana. And I'm going to turn these off as soon as the Moabs are done. And I want to try to get the Ancestral Might to pop this on my gods near the end. So here we go. We're going to turn this off. We're going to turn this. Oh, it's still a little too much. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Oh, I've run it on a mana. Dang. All right. Dismiss. Dismiss. Slice. Dismiss. And we're going to try the Ancestral Might to stop these on my gods. We're going to wait till they wrap around here. And this could be 92 taken down. All right. Again. I was thinking my last try here, but I, I feel like we probably should get Corvus to level 20. Uh-oh. Slice and dice. No! No! I said it was my last try! And there it is. It's got to be our last try. Ancestor Might could not do it all by himself. Dang. So I think that you could probably solo Corvus through round 100. Uh, but it's going to take a lot of micro. It's going to take a lot of work. Um... And you could also try other buffs that I have not been using either, like Homeland Defense or even something crazy like Apartment Brew. Just see what it does for him. Giving him that extra range or whatever the heck it does. Um, definitely intriguing here. Uh, cool ideas, fun ways to play with them. I, I like Corvus. Let me know what you guys think about him in the comments below. I'm, I'm honestly very curious. Uh, he's, he's interesting, but he's a lot of work. And I think to a lot of players, that's going to mean they're not going to want to use him. He's going to be the mortar of the heroes. Uh, he's gonna be, like, thrown off in the distance just saying, meh, he's too much work, I'd rather just put Sada down and have her do all this stuff for me. But if you guys feel different, let me know in the comments. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a super duper delicious day. You wanna hook up Chris with a special dose of deliciousness? Make sure you're using his creator support code. It's SJB. Thank you guys so much.